Right now, plans are moving forward to build several new MARTA rail stations on the current track. That's right. So this comes as the city of Atlanta and the transit agency are trying to connect more people to places like the Beltline. 11 Lines Joe Ripley has a closer look at those plans. New York native Alexia Wright recently moved to Atlanta. She usually takes MARTA to get to work, and she says potentially adding more rail stations could make the city more accessible. Getting more people familiar who don't maybe not know about Atlanta or people who do know a lot about Atlanta but don't want to know more of the history and what's the hype about. MARTA CEO Kali Greenwood says MARTA first started exploring the possibility to add new stations in 2007. In 2016, voters greenlighted the More MARTA Atlanta program, paving the way for these new stations. Just this week, Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens announced a new station would soon be installed at Murphy Crossing, one of several new stations to be built on existing MARTA rail lines. These infill stations would allow us to leverage MARTA's existing 38 station uh, heavy rail system and uh, bring mobility and accessibility to a much wider population. MARTA says it's too early to say when construction could begin. The transit agency says it could cost around $500 million to build five new stations, and the money would come from local, state, and federal funds. Plans to add several infill MARTA rail stations would not conflict with plans to extend the Streetcar East project. MARTA says it will know more about how much it will cost to upgrade technology and improve the current streetcar experience in about a month. Meantime, Alexia Wright thinks more MARTA stations could mean less traffic on the road, making it easier to get around. In Atlanta, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.